So, we are on our way to our first tractor pull. Like, we live in Texas and never been to a fucking tractor pull. And I hear about them all the time. I've seen like all the fail videos, like we all have. But, I don't know. I mean, I think it's tractors, trucks, or something. I don't know. Buddy heard about it. It's almost two hour drive to go to see this shit. So it better be awesome. And we're already late. So, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna go do this and check it out. It better be fucking cool. So, big fucking surprise, we were fucking late. Like, really late. And we watched four, as you just seen, we just watched four track. Oh, shit, where'd we go? Uh, <laughs> we just watched four fucking tractors go. That was it. That was like an hour and 45 minute drive to see four tractors, and then we had to fucking leave. Uh, we just stopped at Allsup's, and I had uh, uh, two bean burritos. Yup. Later is gonna be interesting. Oh, I thought that was a cop I'm sitting here with a light on. I ain't got a seatbelt on. No, he's I mean, back there. I have a seatbelt on. Anyways, I have. It's all right. What's going on, everybody? Well, this is gonna be another video of the Del Sol rebuild. So, what I'm gonna end up doing today is start pulling the seats out and everything this car doesn't have the rear interior in it and what i want to do is put everything back in it so i tried to make it a race car at one point now i'm over it and i really want it to be a street car again so what i'm going to do is basically put everything in to make the rear window work again uh i have a cage so i'm going to try to make my little cargo pieces fit it's gonna take a lot of trimming. And then I wanna be able to put speakers and everything back in this thing, because eventually I wanna put a radio back in it. Like I said, street car. So the goal today is, and I took the top off already, it's in the trunk. So as you can see, got no rear interior and the glass is hard mounted up. So I'm gonna pull these seats out in the center console so that way I can gain access to everything and get my fat ass in there and then basically going to try to put everything back in and I guess we'll just see how it turns out all right so I've already gone through and unbolted the first seat so I'm gonna pull this guy out see if I can do this one-handed oh aluminum seat but it's on the steel bracket Ooh. all right seat number one 
can see this. I kind of set myself up for failure. On these bolts, because right here they stick past and I can't get a socket on there. So I gotta back these bolts off just to be able to get to the front bolts for the seat rails. Tighten that. Oh my god. Alright, on to the next. Oh. Do you ever forget that you have cool shit like electric ratchets? Because I do. And now I just tightened it. Fucking jackass. Let's try that again. Ready for seat number two to come out. Whew. Out. So now we need to clean up some of this mess that's been in here for the last couple years and get started on all this. Ooh. Oh, they broke. That's trash. Don't know why my gloves are in here. Ran a little chamois tail thing, uh, and a little terry cloth rag. All that. Not even sure what that goes to. All right, need a Phillips head. All right. Pull that guy out. I think that's all that's going on. So now we should have more than enough room to be able to get in here and do what we need to do. I think. So this is what we're taking off. We have a lot of these little things. Well, I say a lot, I guess three on each side holding this window up and we had a self tapper that was pinching the rail just so the window didn't fall and it worked out pretty well but I'm gonna pull the glass out all right so I went through pull those little J hooks out over here and you know there's gonna be holes there but it'll be covered up I can live with it if you can and the car stays in the garage anyways. Probably won't be driven in the rain. It'll be alright. So Chris cleaned my window all up. I don't think I've ever cleaned this window. It's nice. You hear that thing? It's yeah, like it's a, like a, bird a bird helicopter. <laughs> he wants to be a helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> He's like the weird bird that nobody likes. Yeah. Like that weird kid in high school that goes around trying to joust people with a fucking umbrella. <laughs> New kid that, that did that. Right? We're gonna try to get my uh, defrost yeah. to work. Maybe we should put my stickers on while we're, we have this out. Yeah. K2. That's fancy. What is that? Got to rock the sponsors. Ooh, that's fancy. I'm gonna get 
people critiquing me on how I put my stickers on and shit. This is gonna be crooked, and it's gonna bother the shit out of me. Watch. So they're gonna sponsor both of them. Watch it be crooked. It probably is. <laughs> Looks great. What do you think, Mr. Bug? It's good. Expert. Yeah, these guys are questionable. Nah. So, let me see if I can get where you can see. Uh, you missed the part where we had to finagle this thing in here. It was a real pain in the ass. My cage is probably all scratched up. Uh, we just set the window down and finger tied it everything. I think we're gonna have to figure out how to get the window down or... Probably have to unbolt it, drop it all the way down, slide it up into the tracks, and then lean the plate forward. Oh man. That's gonna be interesting. Just from experience, if you ever think about taking this thing out and you don't have to, just leave it the fuck alone. You don't want a race car, especially out of a dull soul. It's the worst fucking race car. Don't do it. Alright, so fast forward a little bit. We did get the window and everything in. Make a man there over here. Trying to put interior pieces back in. Just take it from me. Don't do this. Don't take it apart. Just leave it alone. Because eventually you're going to want it to go back in. And it's ten times worse. And then you got to deal with all this shit. I don't know. Mine's all the way in. And it's not... Okay. Inside the seal, mine's over the seal. So I don't know. I mean, I'll do mine the same way. I just want to keep it there the same. Okay, well, I'm trying to pull mine out over the seal. It looks like it goes inside the seal. Yeah, if it's inside there. All right, so just a bit of an update. Got the side panels back in. The light panel and the light back in. Having to do some trimming on the sides here to get these to fit around the cage and stuff, but I'm gonna have to repaint the cage. We scratched this thing all the hell. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get the cargo cover stuff in. I'll probably have to hack it up to get it around the bars, but we'll see. All right, well, this ended up being a real huge pain, but got everything in except for the little cargo storage area. This piece right here is just sitting up there right now because I need to screw in these pieces and I haven't, put the speakers in and I should have when I was mocking all this stuff up because it's super tight right here but this fucking window better work <laughs> this is all I'm gonna do tonight it's starting to get starting to get dark out a little bit and I still gotta clean up my, my big mess I got going on out here so I think this is gonna do it for this one yep told you I had it mocked up this might do it for this video, or I'll just latch it on to something else, but I guess we'll see.